When you have another artist in the studio with you and you're producing or like songwriting with them, are you speaking to them the way that you do like a TikTok? Like, what if you heard drums like this or a guitar like this or a light switch or a knock on the wall? <laughs> you should slam some garbage cans together <laughs> and call it your next <laughs> single. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I, but yes, honestly, I joke, I, I joke that it's, it, it's true. I, I, it's very rare that I'll, I mean, I, when I worked with, um, when I wrote stay for kid Leroy, um, well, we all wrote it together, me, Blake and Omer and, and Leroy. Um, it was me just actually the piano that this computer sits on right now, the Juno. And I was just playing some very almost ballady type chords, some very like throwbacky type of chords. And I split it up. I, I I split up the notes. So instead of playing the chords, I did ding da, 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 boom, ba, ba. And Leroy's such a melodic genius that he, um, and a lyrical genius that he heard those notes and sang them exactly, mirrored them exactly. So that's where I do the same thing. I told you that I never would. I told you I changed. And I was like, and so what I suggested was you should go. If this were my song, I would right. go even higher at the very end. So mm. I need you to stay. He went originally, I need you to stay. And I was like, what if you went, I need you to stay, I need you to stay. Because <laughs> I can hear the audience. You got to pitch the audience going, stay. That's what how <laughs> light switch. I, I picture people, turn me on like a light switch. Like light switch. I, I just, you got to picture the, got to talk to yourself a lot to make music. 